Hey YouTube, Brian here from LCS. Thanks for stopping by my channel. And this video, my 2022 goals for my YouTube channel. So no intro, I'm gonna jump right in. Um, I've been thinking a lot about, you know, my channel and the community and the, the Comic Book Community Awards and everything that's kind of gone on this year. Um, and I've set five different goals for my YouTube channel in 2022. So first off, um, my number one goal is to uh, stay involved in the community. So obviously <laughs> having a YouTube channel in a comic book um, you know, niche, um, obviously um, staying involved in, in the community is important. But what do I mean by that, right? So um, continue to do shout outs, right? I think that's important that we support you know, smaller channels, bigger channels, really any channel, right? But, you know, somebody who's watching my channel may not be aware of some other channels that are out there. So it's always, I think, always important to do, you know, shout outs. So typically, um, you know, I, I shout out on Saturdays. I do a, a morning show on Saturdays and I usually do shout outs there. You know, I may do them on live streams or include people's links um, in other videos. So I think that's really important. Um, AOKs. AOKs, I think, are, you know, uh, an act of kindness. Um, some, pe some people call them, you know, R-A-Ks, uh, uh, random acts of kindness. Um, I'm a big fan of those. Um, I think it's always important, obviously, with the craziness that's happening in the world today, COVID and, um, you know, just, just some of the social issues, um, some of the political things we're seeing. I think it's so important that we are kind to one another. Um, and so a random act of kindness is really a great way to, um, you know, brighten somebody else's day. Um, one of the things um, that I'm a big fan of at Christmas time is, you know, people always brag about, oh, look what I got, you know, um, or they, they ask you the question, you know, what did you get? What did you get for Christmas? You know, people post the pictures of all the stuff they've, you know, presents they received, but I like to flip it around and say, what did you give? You know, because by you giving somebody a gift, um, it, it brightens their day, right? It makes them excited, they're happy because they've received it, but it also brings you joy because you gave it to them. And the happiness that you see, you know, in that, in that person receiving that gift. So um, I always like to ask people, you know, instead of what did you get, what did you give? So. AOKs are going to be a big, you know, continue to be a part, um, you know, sending them out to um, other community members. Um, watching other channels' videos. That's important, right? Supporting, um, you know, like I said, shout outs, but also watching other videos, providing, you know, comments, liking their video, sharing their video, all of those things help those channels grow. Um, so it's important to do that. Um, any other thing I think in the, the first goal of staying involved in the community is joining other streams, joining other live streams, um, you know, when, I bet, when I'm asked or if there's an open forum, you know, uh, Mark from Legion of Comics does one on Friday, uh, Chip Gettler, the White Shadow does them uh, uh, Saturday nights, he does the banter show. So I think, you know, being involved with the community um, and, you know, being, you know, a good uh, member by you know joining other streams, supporting other channels, and uh, you know continuing in discussion. So um, that's my first goal and all the kind of sub pieces of it. Um, the second goal for the channel um, is to make um, the Comic Book Community Awards bigger and better in 2022. 2021, um, I was a little rushed. Um, you know, I learned a lot by, you know, people providing feedback and some of the, you know, the criticism of it early on. Um, but I think ultimately um, it was, it turned out well. Um, so, but I did reach out to a number of people after the first award show and they provided me with some feedback. Um, I've gotten emails, I've gotten comments. So really the goal is going to be to make it bigger and better and, but by what I mean by that is to make sure there's more community involvement, more members of the community provide feedback um, to help grow it and mold the awards in year two to make it a true community event. 
Um, we're going to bring in, bringing on community members and making some changes, maybe adding some categories. So there's more to come on that. Um, I'll be, you know, probably doing another video, you know, sometime in January to kind of announce some of the things that we're looking at. Um, but if, if you have feedback about the awards and haven't provided that to me, please, you know, let me know, email me, drop me a comment here or even on Instagram. So that's my number two goal, two goal is to make the, the, the comic book community awards an even bigger community event in 2022. Uh, number three is to focus on my channel. Um, I think, you know, a lot of us as content creators on YouTube spend a lot of time supporting other channels, which is important. And that's why I made it my number one goal. But I think it's also important that we focus on our channel and growing our channel, right? Um, because at least for me, you know, I want my channel to be successful. And so I need to put in the time. Um, you know, you've seen recently that I'm doing a lot of these green screen backgrounds. The house, my house has been a little crazy with Christmas and everything and the and the room that the spare bedroom that I usually um, you know shoot my videos in is kind of a little bit of a mess. So if I was to take down the screen screen, you'd see a, a big, you know, holiday mess behind me. So that's why I'm kind of using the green screen to mask it. But but that's part of it, right? Focus on my channel. Uh, I'm looking at maybe changing my setup a little bit. Um, uh, you know, where I'm, I'm shooting videos from and make it a little bit more, um, you know, user friendly, easier on the eyes. Um, I have some things I'd like to display in the background. Um, so that's when, it, that's when I say, you know, focusing on my channel um, and trying to produce you know, good content, um, you know, whether it's live or whether it's edited and, you know, spend the time editing and making it um, enjoyable to watch. So um, that's my number three goal, focus on my channel. Um, you know, a little bit more, not spend so much time um, doing other things, just really focus on the quality and uh, the quality of the, of the videos that I'm producing, whether it's, like I said, pre-recorded or live. Um, number four is grow my subscribers to 1,000. Um, I think that's a goal for a lot of channels. Um, not all, but for a lot, because obviously when you hit 1,000 on um, YouTube, you know, there's a lot of things that you unlock. The, the monetization um, is one. You know, you can have members and super chats and a bunch of different things. Um, so my goal is really to reach that. I'd like to achieve that. And I think um, in 2022, it, it's possible, right? I've been on YouTube now for about seven months and I'm at the 435 mark. So we're at, you know, 560 something subscribers in a full year in 2022. I think that's a goal that's very achievable. So, um, and that's why I think some of the other things that I've mentioned, my goals of one, you know, one through three, staying involved in the community, um, growing the um, comic book community awards and making, you know, focusing more on my channel will help me achieve number four of getting to 1000 subscribers. Um, and finally, uh, my final goal that I've set is to um, purchase a Grail or two for my personal collection. What that is, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't set that yet. Obviously, you can see I'm a <laughs> Spider-Man fan. I think many of the community members know that. So um, I think it will certainly be some amazing Spider-Man books that I'd like to add. Whether that's a raw book, that's um, you know, a key that I then get, maybe get slabbed or even buying a, you know, a, a, a key book, Spider-Man, amazing Spider-Man book that's already slabbed. Um, obviously what will play into that is, is money finances, right? Um, and so, you know, I have to be aware of that and, and kind of factor that into my overall, you know, personal budget, you know, how much money I'm spending on, on books. Um, but I would like to, um, add a few key books um, to the collection, the personal collection this year. Mainly my books are raw books and they're more recent books, more modern books. Um, so I definitely want to kind of start to pick up some of the older uh, Amazing Spider-Man books um, and, you know, just have them in my collection because, um, you know, I'm seeing others pick up some really great books, some, you know, sub 100 uh, Amazing Spider-Man books. 
Um, and I know, you know, obviously as we each year ticks on, um, those books get harder and harder to find. Um, and so I definitely want to add them and obviously, you know, prices are, are increasing on those amazing Spider-Man books. So definitely want to be able to pick up a few of those uh, this year. Um, so that's it. Those are my goals. Five goals that I think are pretty straightforward. All that I think are achievable. Um, and one of the things that I try to do when I set goals for anything, whether it's my personal life or, you know, business work or, you know, on my YouTube channel, is that I think I need to, I, you, you, I like to have regular check-ins with those goals because if you set goals and then never revisit them, um, you, you may not achieve them. You, you, you're, you're not focused on them. So I like to have like kind of periodic check-ins. So I probably will check in every quarter, every, you know, um, three months to kind of see where I'm going. And that's what I like to do because if you don't have that check-in, um, like I said, I, I feel like the goals can get away. And, you know, there may be a time you may check in and then realize, well, maybe I need to pivot a little bit. Maybe I need to adjust this goal because things have changed. Um, so we'll see, right? So if, you know, something um, happens financially, you know, maybe I, you know, maybe I, I pare back the goal of adding grails or maybe, you know, depending on how it changes, maybe I can increase that goal. So um, that's why I think it's, you know, important to have those, you know, regular check-ins um, to just kind of see where you are, you know, to, you know, put, put your foot, dip your toe in the water and see um, where the, um, where the goals are going and how you're doing. Um, so that's going to be my goal. So uh, that's, maybe that's my sixth goal to have regular check-ins on goals one through five. So, you know, you may see videos throughout the year, you know, uh, you know, four times a year. Maybe, like I said, every three months, kind of check in on these goals and see see how I'm doing. So um, I appreciate you guys, you know, watching this. Let me know. Let me know in the comments what uh, do you are you setting goals for your channel? Do you not set goals? Um, and, and what do you think of my goals? Do you think my goals are realistic? Do you think um, you know? You know, just let me know. Let me know what you think. Do you, uh, are, are they? Um, do you think there's something else that I've overlooked maybe that I should be um, thinking about? Um, and, and let me know, do you, do you, you know, do you think my goals are, um, you know, like I said, achievable? Do you like them? Do you don't like them? Are you setting goals? You know, just your, your, your feedback. Obviously this time of year, people are thinking of, you know, New Year's resolutions, you know, saving for next year's Christmas or hitting the gym again or eating better, all of those type of you know, life goals, resolutions that usually get set this year. But like I said, this this is my YouTube goals, and not 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 so much my you know personal goals. Um, I do I do set those as well, and kind of you know generally um, um, you know set some goals, and then like I said, check in on them every so often to see um, how I'm doing and whether I need to make any changes. So so that's it, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think or what you're doing, what your goals are for 2022 and have a happy new year and looking forward to a really great uh, 2022 for, for all of us. Thanks.